That's quite a small musket you have in your hand there. <laughs> Don't go. This next game is for Jonathan and Drew, and it's called Options. I have a microphone. Whenever I want, we're going to take their improv. We're going to add little directions to it, all right? So we can, uh, we're going to come to you and get styles of film, uh, genres of literature. We're just going to take what they're doing, and you're going to help twist it up a little bit. So first, we're going to get them started with a suggestion. I would like you to give me, um, where is an unusual place that these two might be meeting? Um, I mean, not like, what's that? <laughs> jail. All right. Something about jail. And where is this jail? What kind of a where, what place are? We? Devil's Island. So this is Devil's Island, and this is going to be options. Warden, I did everything you said. Now you promised you let me out of these handcuffs for a little R and R. That was a year ago. <laughs> I know. I've been waiting for a long time. I still haven't changed my mind. You haven't done everything yet. I'm off the floors. I, I did your taxes. I combed your hair. You're a pretty good floor mopper for a guy with his hands tied behind his back. Freeze! All right, give me a style of film, something you want to see. Horror, a horror film. <laughs> Freeze! <laughs> give me a section in the library, a type of book. What is that? Poetry! Welcome to jail. Please grab the pail. Mop the floor some more. Roses are red, violets are blue. The handcuffs didn't work. Hey, hey. <laughs> Freeze. Horror again. Freeze. Somebody give me a director, a director of films. Here we go. Please. Scorsese. I'm telling you, the handcuffs was a ruse the whole time. You talking to me? I'm talking to you. You talking to me? You think I'm talking to you? You talking to me? No, I'm looking in the mirror talking I'm... to myself. Hey, self, no, I'm talking to you. I'm talking the only one here. You got to be talking to me. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> That's a silencer, but it's noisy. Screwing it on. Please. <laughs> give me a decade, any decade in history. What, what's that? 1750. <laughs> Welcome to the 1750s. I said, that's quite a small musket you have in your hand there. <laughs> oh, oh. Freeze! Somebody give me a style of theater. Kabuki! I do not need you to hold me in the prison, for I can escape beyond the walls that you have made. I will re-arrest you now. Freeze! Freeze! Wow! Okay, uh, give me a channel, a cable channel, not, not a normal one, one of the ones, maybe a reality or something like that. Food channel! Food network. Doesn't that taste great? It's fantastic. Is there onion in that? Freeze. Give me another channel. <laughs> Discovery. I've discovered so many things about myself. We're like primates, you and me. We've learned to work together. Come one step closer, and that's going to be it. Put your hands behind your back, and I'll show you something you're going to discover pretty quick. Whoa. Freeze. He's, give me an author. Shakespeare. He said Shakespeare. For the braces that you do put upon my wrist shall not hold me, for my soul reaches upon the heels that you have thus chained me in such as. Good sir, for I was imprisoned against my will, and for the crimes I not committed, for the DNA test was a lie, and for the truth shall not be known, for it is all in one. Speak not, why don't thou speak? Yes, I say everything upon myself. Good sir. Let us insist upon knowing how. 
Okay, go on, Jonathan. Why? <laughs> Don't. Fall, you should come with me. Why be the warden yourself and you can come with me and be a free man committing crimes upon the land and the horse and the dame of the queen's friends, <laughs> uncle. He has made a proposal I must consider wisely. Who are you talking to, sir, I say? 